Offset in the backfield as Fails will work out of the gun against this terrific BYU defense. One of the best in the country. Screen now in the slot there is Grigsby. He's the favorite target of Fails. They'll go for the tight end. Standing up near side on that line and he's coming strong. It Fails hits the pattern, the motion man. Four-man front this time coming for BYU and fails deep down. BYU into the end zone 11 times on the ground and one more here tonight. And to the air. Thank you, Wendy. Well, Kansas State in some trouble. We're going to nail biter. And, a and they look on the season, including the one from earlier. He's got Carr and Grigsby running routes. Grigsby into the end zone. Lock. Quarterback with Blake Jurich. Now into the game. They'll often use him as a wildcat type guy and they'll run the option top. Eskridge will get the carry and he runs right into Kyle Van Noy. BYU defense. And a terrific athletic play by Van Noy. Quisenberry, the tackle comes that way as well. On third and goal. Fails. Has time and coming across the middle for six months. This is bringing five guys up to the line of scrimmage. And they'll run a couple of backers in there to stop the state staying unbeaten with wins today. And in trouble for K-State and Oregon as Fails will run for the first down yardage on the tight end to the left. A couple of tights now, left side. Play action. To Tupo. Van Noy. They're going to bring the linebacker on the blitz. That's picked up. Fails. Fires the other way. Complete. Near another first down. Right there. How about how about San Jose State picking up the blitz? R running back Eskridge just stays calm. What do you think that BYU has thrown at him so far? Fails is now 10 for 12. Eskridge. Field. He just looks like he's in complete control of everything going on. Eskridge, nice cutback. They're outscoring opponents 109 to 13. They've got to figure out a way to contain, or at least linebacker up again, Van Noy to the line of scrimmage. Eskridge tries to cut it back inside. BYU giving up just 172 per game this season. Fails to the end zone for Grigsby. Got it. All enjoy the Martin Luther King Jr. Library here in San Jose. David Fails going to try and throw it out of his own end zone. Yeah. Safety. Going to try and bring the linebacker. Van Noy again. A nice cutback by Leaina on third down. Now close to the fifth. What they're trying to show him, he is operating his offense and being successful at it. Back to the ground. Estridge. Eskridge set up behind Fails here on second down. Has some time. Firing across the middle. Incomplete. May have been third down. They're six for six tonight. They're bringing the corner blitz. Grigsby with the catch at the 27. What a crazy night in college football. Kansas State and Oregon both falling for the day. <laughs> and having a chance to get right back in the game. The handoff, Leaina, across the seven for seven on third down tonight. Fails, got his man Grigsby. A Cougar defense, second in the country in third down defense. And Fails is reversing that quite a bit, and then he throws. And then uh, the waters get murky after that. That'll be defeats number two, Oregon. Thank you, Wendy. A flat play for the title if they will surpass Oregon and Kansas State. Now, because they get set to move from the WAC to the Mountain West Conference next season. And what a combo this has been all year and 137 yards against the 10th best passing defense in the country. And he's been able to slice them up. With the win over Southern California today, they will be in the Pac-12 title game.
fails here on third down. He's going to try and run for it himself, and he will not get it. And a quick time in this season has been critical for BYU's success. In their wins, they've run the ball well. In their losses, they've been held under 100 yards. Waiting for a QB here at San Jose State in 40 years. Should have enough there for the first down. They get six. When they've needed 15, they've gotten 16. He's just been impressive the way he's run this offense tonight. He's bringing the blitz from the corner in trouble. Good heat. Number seven in white. And that's what you get with a 3 4 defense. You know, you bring your linebackers in a blitz. And you Eskridge, the offset back. He picks up one blitzer and the throw deep down the middle and the catch made by Otten at the 45. And adjustments made by Bronco Mendenhall coming out of halftime. of a play and great athleticism. Van Noy comes all the way around from the other side of the field and runs down Nelson. It's great athleticism. We heard about Van Noy coming. They'll set up a receiver screen. Jalari Carr fails. Receiver screen. Carr. Nice block by Grigsby in a first down. Seventh catch of the night for Carr. Off the play action. Looking deep down the sideline. That was a state. Eskridge bounces to the outside. To the 40. And a run out. The BYU defense, though, much better. Bringing more blitzes and more pressure in that third quarter. Keeping David Fales and company off the key in this fourth quarter. Bronco Mendenhall has been creating negative yardage plays on second and uh, second downs here in the second half. Here comes the blitz up the middle. It's picked up and the pass incomplete out to midfield of the season. Cougars already bowl eligible have already accepted an invitation to play. He's on the ground at this stage of the game anyhow. You that the play should have been blown dead. Defense can hold to try and get him the ball back. Eskridge turned it.